everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... <laughs> Potato? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The spud space program's going to have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasha, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look, Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have five... Thousand stars, we'll pull in uh, <laughs> two million cars. Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly. We've a menace car wash to set up. And five thousand. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Ah, oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. Oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh. So, we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasha. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 ml raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalised the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. Nice one, Curly. Time to rustle up some business. have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're going to get it back. First-class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Who's up for Beano Town's fastest car wash? <laughs> Oh, fantastic! 
Circle Wolf. Thanks, Sergeant. Next. <laughs> I'll be recommending your car wash to all of our friends. <laughs> Mayor Scrimp has friends. Mm hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right, my avian adversary. This means war. Uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare endangered wooden beaked warbler. Uh, who? Uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm-hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? The target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. I will turn it off. Off? Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, crash! Do that. You both all right? 
No, Dennis. We've both got Etsy. We've both got Etsy. I mean, we've both got Etsy. That's all right, Pyface. What he's trying to say is that we've both got Etsy. We've both got Etsy. Both got what? Oh, Curly. Pyface, didn't you get the letter? The Beano Town cold is so contagious that you must stay home. And you, dog? <coughs> yes, you, dog. You aren't allowed here. Pyface, Curly, dog, you must all leave the school grounds this instant. Yeah, I, I think I might be coming down with something. Inside. <sighs> <sighs> Quiet, class, quiet! No more chattering, everyone! Quiet! Quiet! Oh, looks like quite a few pupils have the cold. Not I, Mrs Creature. I'm perfectly well. Walter, didn't you get the letter? I don't have a cold, Mrs Creature. I am 100% healthy. <laughs> now then, class, if James has 37 counters in his left hand and 92 counters in his right hand, how many hands does he have? Walter. Oh, it's jumping into shape of the people. See a rainbow, should A good try, Walter. Next question. Dennis, what is the square root of a million times the square root of a billion? Uh, is it nine? Oh, hopeless, Dennis. Hopeless. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. Oh. Walter, call me crazy, but I think you may be ill. I'm having your parents pick you up. No, Walter. This could be the best school day ever. <laughs> Just a dessert for my lunch, Bren. How much? Not many children in, so they're free today. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I'll only have 50 of them. Oh, no. Headmaster's orders, one dessert per child. But I'm the only... Strict instructions. Want your dessert, then? Uh, sure. Can I have a spoon? Yep. <laughs> Actually, forget the spoon. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, bonjour. I am the French exchange student, Pierre Le Bonbon. Uh, la dessert, please. All right, but you only get one. Merci. Hang on. Oh, guten hello. I am German exchange student, Fritz von Munich. A dessert, please and thank you. Uh, are there many kids in that lunch line? Oh, ja, ja. Why don't you take a look? <coughs> yeah, I knew it. You're not getting one over on me. Oh, may have overdone it on dessert. Come on, bowler. <laughs> Great, Batman, hit it. <laughs> At a boy, fielder, catch it. <laughs> Well done for getting him out, Dennis. Marvellous play. <sighs> Dennis, how come you're out already? Awful. Two laps round the field for you. <sighs> well, Dennis, poor Walter had to go home. Yes! Which means for the rest of the day, it's just you and me. No! Only kidding. Phew. Since all the other children have the cold, you're going to spend the rest of the day being taught by all the teachers in the school. At once. What? What's nine times ninety-nine? What's London stick? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> what is this? Is this <laughs> Oh, the worst day ever, Nasha. Teachers. Teachers everywhere. It's not fair. Why can't I catch a cold like everyone else? <gasps> Actually, I think I can. 
<laughs> oh, the light. It grows faint. Is that you, Mother? This awful cold. It's so horrible. So painful. And so very, very real. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Dennis. Would you move away from the door? I have to pick up B. Mum, I have a cold. No, you want out of school, like when you said you had chicken pox. <laughs> or when you said you were pregnant. <laughs> or when you said your arm fell off. <laughs> Unless you really have a cold, like your dad, don't waste my time. Dad has a cold? Yes. And apparently it's very infectious, so keep far, far away from him. Hmm. Hi, Dad! <laughs> oh, calm down, Dad. I'm here to look after you. Bacon sandwich? Oh, lovely, Dennis. How nice of you. <coughs> What's in this sandwich? Bacon, bread, tomato sauce... Oh! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Water? Hmm. Normal? Right, need a plan B. What does it Gran says? Hey, Dennis, you want to see me get a whole coconut into my mouth? No, not that. Keep out of the cold and wet or you will catch a cold, I bet. Now, watch me get this coconut into my mouth. <laughs> oh, what, what? Hmm. Ah! 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 He's fine. Nothing broken. Oh, you sure? I definitely felt something snap. Maybe I should stay at home, rest the foot, get my strength back. No, you won't need to miss a day of school. <laughs> what? What kind of a doctor are you? Bye, face. Curly. Hey, Dennis. You OK? No, I'm not. Well, yes, I, I am. I... <sighs> Back to school. Great, because we're all going to the beach. What? Yeah, as everyone has just gotten over their colds, their teachers thought we should have a day out. Brilliant! I love school! <laughs> this is going to be the best day ever! Ah. Ah. Ah -choo! Oh dear, the Beano Town cold. Best get you home. No, no, that sneeze was a fluke. Ah -choo! So was that one. Ah -choo! And that one. Mum, I'm well. I feel great. Honestly, Mum, I'm fine. I'm completely... Oh, Dennis. Ha 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 ha! 
Nasha. We'll buy you a new drum kit. This is exactly what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. <laughs> oh, I love you. Just tell us what we can afford. Drum solo! <laughs> That's all we can afford? What are we going to do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Beano Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Beano Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done, Paul. Never ending on and on and on. Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> and there it is, boys. First prize. Ah, so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter. <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just filling the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we going to do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we got to do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> 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 Orders. Home. Now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild. Someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? Ah, <sighs> homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. I must know some grown-up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too... um... dead. More biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <laughs> Mum, she'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? Eh? Where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla at them. Oh, right. Eh? <laughs> 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 
Run! We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing! There are no other entrants! I'm cancelling the competition! Just please stop! So, what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes, fine, all right, whatever. Just take the drums and go. Golly, we won something. Mother will be so proud. <laughs> Pause off, boys. <laughs> this show ain't over. Meet the newest member of the Din Makers. Hello. He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up. <laughs> 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 Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion, there can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown up human man. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Beano Town, and good night! This is gonna be one epic walkover. Okay, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> 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 How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, it is my sad duty to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man. <laughs> Since the din makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not good. Play! If we can get them gorillas dancing again, we can stop this. <laughs> Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. Come <laughs> on. 
Dennis, you are late again. It's only the first time this week, miss. It's Monday, and you've been late every day this term. The rest of you aren't much better either, except for you, Walter, 100%. Perhaps people would make more effort if there was a proper punishment for being late, miss. <sighs> You're right, Walter. Anyone late for school this week won't be going to Beano Town Fair. Aha! Quiet! Game on! Make Walter late for school. How? He's never been late for anything in his life. There's no way Dennis is coming on that trip. Whatever it takes, I'm going to make him late for school. Uh, isn't he always late for school anyway? Shut up, Bertie. Shut it up, Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I think I may have an idea. to move that brick. Stop his car? There's no other way. You got a better idea? Mm. What do you think, Payface? <laughs> Look, I glued Paul so he could have a swing. Cool. And um, how are you going to get him off again? Easy, I'll just put... <laughs> Paul, what have I done? Huh? He won't fall for the window trick again. We need to think of something new. Right, think, think, think. Think, think, think. Weave! Weave! Aha! I have it! Time to 
grimless than old school menace. <gasps> Punctuality is so important, don't you think, miss? Unless you're Dennis, of course. I know I am. Unfortunately, Mrs. Creature has banned me from using the helicopter again. But no matter. With this transmitter, I'm going to know all Dennis's pranks in advance. Pie face! How's a... Um, uh, potato thingy? Oh, he's still quite sore. Oh, dear. Maybe this will help. Wow, thanks, Walter. He wants to say thank you himself. Go on, Paul. Don't be shy. Hmm. We need to find something to distract him. What does Walter really care about? Guys, I think Paul's going to make it. <gasps> That's it. Walter loves his pet cat. So what I'm thinking is... for school if he thinks Claudius is missing. <coughs> Cat biscuits, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. I've got you this time, Dennis the Menace. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ras, 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 ras. <laughs> Brilliant! Claudius has taken the biscuit bait. <laughs> ras. Once again, Genius wears a striped jumper. Uh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks, Dennis. Claudius loves these. <laughs> Don't be too late for school. Nasha! One. Hey, Nasha. Boy! <laughs> Get him, Nasha! Nasha, 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 Nasha! Morning's menacing. Uh, oh, oh. Look on the bright side, miss. We're not late for school. Walter, your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing crests? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> oh, dear. Well... As this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> bye bye. Huh? <laughs> Dennis, what are we gonna do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires and they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was gonna get all his issues autographed. Oh, we can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants and fast. Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> So, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. <laughs> How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favorably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee. Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. <laughs> if this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Has passed its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot house! <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Work, Dennis? Oh, it has to, Curly. We can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget you promised to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, oh. uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyfees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. <laughs> Let's Let's go. Go. I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect cress looks like. Who's ever seen cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big cress looks like. When they're grown up, cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on comic convention missing detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The 
unusually large and bitey, Cress. It's got larger and bitier. <laughs> there may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not Cress. You don't see Cress this big and eating things. Dennis? Um, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Cress this big and eating things. And that's because... Uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our Cress got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown Cress is pies. <laughs> It must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pains. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! It's a good job we also have national power. Then we can mow it. All this mowing is disturbing my study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. <laughs> oh. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, pie face. One problem at a time. <laughs> Going on? I'm going on! On holiday right now! 
two. Class dismissed. <laughs> School as normal tomorrow, all of you. Ooh, that's if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. Ah. The Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making, homework setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was three. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you going to do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still going to have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh, uh, look out, miss. Oh, I mean, mum. Uh, there's a... Don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, miss mum. Oh. <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie dok, Miss Mum. No! no! <laughs> oh, oh, who put that there? Oh, no, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. He can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> <laughs> This means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Good to see you settling in. I'm Mr. Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. <sighs> Class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash! 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 A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We look ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <coughs> Nash? He's my teacher's pet, of course. <whistles> S 
thought we just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. <laughs> Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring! At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. <laughs> huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> it does still work. Fingers on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Gun way! Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. Go! <laughs> I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 